Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. Simu 1.10.0 has been out for Patreon members for a few days now and plenty of testing has taken place. For those of you who aren't aware, $5 plus Patreon members get 7 days early access before the free public version is released. Let's jump right into it. Here's a list of titles which we can safely say are working well with minimal issues in Simu 1.10.0e. After the list we'll talk about what it's like being a Simu Patreon supporter and what comes with that. I'd like to thank Discord user Digippy for his hard work testing the games. Remember this information is momentary and subject to change. So the games which work. Bayonetta 2, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Mario Kart 8, NES Remix, New Super Mario U, Splatoon, Super Mario 3D World, Super Mario Maker, Super Smash Bros with some users having audio problems, Tekken Tag 2, Breath of the Wild, Twilight Princess HD, Wind Waker HD and Yoshi's Woolly World. There are many more titles working well also but here the focus was the most popular ones. Remember. These details are always momentary and subject to change up until the public release, but it's a fairly stable list. Additionally, Unity Game Engine games show graphics. Xenoblade Chronicles X and Bayonetta 1 behave the same as in the past. Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze has intro sound problems, but no game sound problem. Currently, games with issues are Fatal Frame, which crashes at the start screen, Hyrule Warriors which crashes after loading, Pokken which freezes after the start screen and Paper Mario Color Splash Music is not working or is laggy with the same graphics as the past. This information is designed to keep you up to date with all the latest developments and of course there is still plenty of time for additional improvements until the free public release. Now let's talk about Patreon. There are advantages and disadvantages to being a Patreon supporter. Early access is always an interesting experience. You get to test and play with new features, find bugs and have real input into improving Simu. The disappointments come in the form of games potentially not running as you wish or as they did in the past, but on the flip side they could play better than ever, it really depends. It's important to remind everyone out there that Simu is still defined as experimental and not intended for general use yet. We've been a bit spoiled with how well certain titles have performed and with that grows a certain expectation with each additional build. Regression does and has happened and in that situation the reaction is generally negative. Simu 1.10.0 has had a shaky release with too many variables and hotfixes to describe. With experimental software you are basically a beta tester but some who contribute financially to Patreon do have a sense of entitlement and forget this point and become infuriated when the games they care about don't run perfectly. Version 1.10.0 focuses on a complete rebuild of audio as well as timers for emulation accuracy. The audio when working correctly is clearly better going from mono to stereo. The timers have been received with mixed reviews, some claiming they decrease performance, others saying they don't do much at all and of course some who like them. We definitely need more time before making any conclusions about them. The great thing here is you now have the choice to choose what works best for you, you don't have to use them. Also those of you waiting for the public release know that a lot of work goes into improving the free build from both developer and community alike. So in many cases the public get the best version with bug fixes which patrons find. Remember it's always important to update Simu Hook and clear your caches. Long story short let's take a look at the hot fixes we've already had in a short time. These are quick fixes which the Simu team are able to pump out daily when necessary. 1.10.0b This added use RDTSC as default. 1.10.0c This fixed a problem with save file creation and loading also fixes a crash that could affect Super Smash Bros and Tekken Tag Tournament 2. 1.10.0d Fixed a bug in RDTSC timer. Game profiles for Twilight Princess adjusted so they no longer enforce cycle based CPU timer. 
Slightly optimized audio might decrease crackling for some users. 1.10.0e Fixed texture corruption issue, mainly Unity games were affected. Fixed a bug in thread scheduler that could lead to overall worse performance. Maximum audio volume is now a bit louder. Removed hacky disable audio debug option. So people, what these rapid fixes tell us is that the Simu team is dedicated to improving the emulator as quickly as they can. I could go into the details and nuances about how each game is affected by each hotfix, what it breaks, what it corrects, but given the fast moving nature of the progress being made, it wouldn't actually help to be that specific as the information could become redundant hours later. So for this list an overall generalization is much more suitable. If we focus on Breath of the Wild for a moment, Discord user Selfrost pointed out ongoing persistent issues when using FPS++ as gliding stutters, stamina regen is too fast if it's over 30 FPS, arrows and bombs have strange physics, NPCs enemies are jumpy unless using GX2 draw done, music sometimes laps over itself when going over 30 FPS, textures map areas don't load fully at some random times but eventually pop in, not an FPS++ bug. These problems have not been fixed and are not new to Simu version 1.10.0 or Simu Hook version 0.5.4.1. I'd just like to say thank you to any and all community members who helped me out with this information. And please, if you have anything to share, feel free to hit me up on Discord, link in the description. Now, if you're annoyed that I didn't mention a game you particularly care about, let me point you in the direction of the compatibility lists both the ones controlled by the dev team and the community, links down below. Please take into account that they are a little outdated, therefore potentially inaccurate. For example, Monster Hunter 3 is currently still not working. Whilst I aim to provide the most accurate information I can, please allow some margin for error or change. There you go people, an insight into the current progress of Simi version 1.10 Point o and what it's like being a Patreon member. If you enjoy this content and like the Complaining Gamer channel, please feel free to leave that thumbs up. And if you want to come back for more content, please feel free to subscribe. Take care, have an awesome day. I'll be back with more daily content. See you next time.